Hey, hello my fellow Shogun 2, full of the samurai players. The rip here on a saga river with Prussian prince and myth. Well, they would be playing and I would be casting and this is a sixth game of a finals match between Agony and CW teams on Agony Team League. Uh, here we go and I'm hiding mm -hmm, so that no one can tell what's happening because there is no delay on stream. So we would be watching, looking at these mountains again at the beginning. And just to remind you how this match went before. Uh, in previous six games, mm, it started with uh, Sony securing two kills uh, for CW. He won against Tinkerbell and then he won against uh, uh, Twitchy. Maps were, let's see, Ubayu on Sand first for uh, Tinkerbell and Crossroads for Twitchy. Uh, okay, then next game was played on uh, Slumbering Settlement. It was Prussian Prince pick and Prussian Prince uh, won on Slumbering Settlement. Secured first kill for Agony. Then Prussian Prince played Hooligan on Gunma Field, secured second kill. And then Prussian Prince played uh, Serge Livanidov on uh, Hidden Mountains and secured third kill. So Agony team is at match point now. And uh, how should I put it? Mm. Uh, well, <laughs> I was just trying to say that uh, kind of I made a mistake at the, at the beginning of this match by introducing Prussian Prince. I pretty much uh, told you that uh, well he won all the games uh, before this one. Anyway, Mif have to win this game and the next one for his team to win. Well, Prussian Prince have to win only this one. And that would secure victory for Agony team in the finals. <sighs> well, to fill uh, time, uh, um, in all honesty, like in the uh, end of previous cast, it's on a Maju stream. Maju streamed previous six games, I recorded them and have on my YouTube. And Maju have his own Twitch, Majutsu, Majuts1 on Twitch TV. Uh, he isn't available at the moment, unfortunately, um, because it was yesterday. And uh, I think Sony was uh, very un unpleased, uh, unpleased with the Prussian Prince playstyle, not in terms of composition, but but in terms of how Sony called it redline camping. And as we were discussing it. Uh, Generally, in the Russian community, redline camping uh, means that you cannot, like, if you have a unit closer than 150 range uh, to redline uh, for long enough, it's considered redline camping. Agony Team League rules are a bit different. If there is unit defending, well, pretty much camping for more than three minutes, that's camping and we well took our time then watching at Prussian Prince replay, replace and uh, mm, he didn't allow his opponents to sneak uh, near red lines. That's for sure. But was it camping? No. He was moving out and in, out and in. So it's it's difficult decision to make. And well, there were no official complaints, but I just know that uh, Sony was uh, very unpleased with it. But you can't deal with it, uh, really. Uh, on some maps where Dojo, like, I mean, if you put li uh, line unit here, it's pretty much already camping. Because if someone tries to sneak, you just move a little bit. And that's all. Y uh, and you kind of well protected here. Anyway, game is starting. Mif against Prussian Prince. Shrine, Archery Dojo and Farmhouse. And definitely both players want to go for these two Dojos. But interestingly enough, Prussian Prince still deployed uh, on side of farmhouse as well. I would assume he plans to wrap up like this. That's my assumption. Uh, okay, let's go over the builds. For Prussian Prince, it's um, he already showed one revolver cavalry. Uh, something is hidden, obviously. He have his general uh, gun, uh, command gen with gun enabled. 
for his line I think they have 10 line limit rule so let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 only 9 lines so we have two 150s, US Marines, Royal Marines mm, no more our units so others would be mix of uh, Black Tortoise forces and Red Bears in DDTs uh, Prussian Prince shows second revolver Okay, for me, f who, is f who did forgot his general, his general have a strange order, but his general is mostly common gen again with gun enabled. Full ten stars. He already showed us one Sabre cavalry, vanilla, one revolver, second revolver, Yariki, Sabre cavalry. Okay. Now for his line, we have Red Bear, Black Tortoise Force. Red Bear, Red Bear, Black Bear Infantry, and some shots coming, Prussian Prince. Hmm. So, interesting thinking. Uh, two units against one. Uh, Mif tried to charge his Sabre Cavalry, but then decided not to go frontally, because even if he charges, okay, he goes for it. Yeah, there is this issue behind, there is Revolver Cavalry. And I would say Prussian Prince might be actually out of position here. Two of his revolvers far away. Mm, ooh my, that's... Like, that's why they so good uh, when used uh, defensively. Oh, Prussian Prince actually risks his general. So, what did uh, Miv g gotten at this point? He gotten one line, he lost one revolver, he lost one Sabre Cavalry and one Yariki. I, I s well, pretty much, maybe two lines. And now his United States Marines moved in, I think he gave attack order. Mm. This is definitely not cost-effective exchange for Miv. It definitely didn't lose him a game, not yet. Can this be considered red line camping? I think it can, but I cannot say how much time it took uh, for this line to be here. But you definitely can sneak here, right? It's mm, difficult to say. Like again, uh, it's different rules from uh, Russian tournaments, so. Uh, I understand what Sony is saying, but does it break the rules of Agony Tournament? I I honestly can say. Mm. Yeah, and... Uh, okay, we will deal with it later when this game finishes, I guess. If there would be any complaints. And I, I like this. Is, it's like uh, it feels a little bit like Miv gives up by this point. Uh, you may want to use your red bear to kind of hit to start shooting, and then maybe your revolvers would come. Why go with revolvers first? I'm not sure. And you see how uh, revolvers of Prussian work. It's pretty much full. Uh, uh, defense mode. He never tried to attack with them. He just uses them to protect his forces when they get charged. On this side, again, there is definitely way to sneak by. Um, he he moves away. I mean, how can you not? Mm, like it's it's just this map do does not allow easy flanking here if uh, your opponent controls dodge. Okay, let's forget rules for now uh, because I cannot make decision here. We have red bears, we have sabre cavalry. Mm -hmm. And again, you see, line uh, used as a stopping power. And revolvers from behind clear up the that cavalry before it can make enough damage. Still nice charge at revolvers. 
but uh, Mif slowly losing steam. I mean, he it lo it appears like he's winning that flank, but oh, he already lost uh, all his cavalry pretty much. Uh, he lost his United States Marines, and now Russian Prince cavalry goes offensive uh, to overcome this flank uh, really, really fast. Okay, GG called from me. Uh, this definitely wasn't deciding factor, but uh, yeah, good thing this isn't money tournaments. I mean, I would definitely refuse to uh, admin such a tournament because uh, how can you make a decision in such an awkward spot, right? You sometimes it feel like uh, Creative Assembly deliberately made uh, maps so narrow, uh, totally deliberately. Okay, uh, Russian Prince deployed more line spam with revolvers. Uh, relatively typical composition for him uh, lately. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, wait, nine. Yeah, 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 nine. Four of these, three of these, two of these. Yeah. Four revolvers. And I remember when we were picking rules, uh, I was uh, consulting uh, for any team league. I couldn't even imagine this. Like when tournament started, uh, it was. Well, like, because with revolvers, issue with revolvers is they very difficult to use offensively. Uh, they cannot easily approach line. You have seen how Mif definitely tried to do so, but let's look. Well, he got some kills, but uh, mostly on red beers. It's very difficult to use offensively. To make it pay for itself, you need like 200 kills. Or you need kills against enemy cavalry, which Prussian Prince did. So it's the way he used it. Mm. Yeah, I wish maps were bigger. Really, I wish maps were much bigger. Mm. And I think this was a huge uh, mistake for Mif as well. Miss Micron this US Marines. Uh, charging through the middle. Way too aggressive. And I understand what he was saw. It it felt like Prussian Prince spread to scene, and it felt like Mif can uh, break at that point near the shrine. Um, maybe he could have got done it. Another interesting thing is that somehow Prussian Prince managed to get uh, on Dodgers first again. I don't know how how he does it, uh, but he does. Okay, guys, that's it. That's the last game of uh, Agony Team League uh, of finals. There should be bronze match, I think. And uh, Prussian Prince secures all kill for Agony. Uh, four games won in a row. Congratulations to Agony and Prussian Prince. And um, I hope uh, somehow this red line stuff would be cleared because. Uh, no rules were actually breakin broken, but just because uh, such a respectable player as Sony complained, I start feeling bad. Like, but I mean, uh, you can't, uh, you can't uh, like not try to protect your flanks when you have tools. Yeah, I would understand if uh, like wh why red line uh, camping rule is made. I understand if someone puts his whole army using red line as protection for its back, right? But uh, what we have here, there were definitely way to sneak uh, behind Prussian Prince. There definitely were way to do so without taking casualties, actually. Uh, that red B on uh, left of shrine was easily... Um, it was easy to kill it if you put your line. It's not like you should be able to send your cavalry around for free. Um, that's other... Um, 
how it's called extreme like no no you should position yourself in the middle of a map so that my cavalry can run around all at once no but uh, if for example he and me if pushed his red line started fighting with Prussian prince red line his cavalry would easily sneak by so it's so difficult to judge I'm sorry <sighs> well fortunately there is no official complaint so I don't have to judge as admi admin but definitely as someone who thinks about tournament rules a lot I I have to think about it I have to compare opinions I have to share my opinion so that people can argue with me if it's wrong or right because this argument uh, made me believe that two gun cavalry limit is necessary or maybe two revolver cavalry limit at least on uh, fall of the samurai currently because i believe the this composition is a bit too strong uh, just because maps are too narrow and because revolvers got so cheap uh, atoma patch okay guys uh, that's all for this match and this game and i hope to see you